Bonjour. Aujourd'hui, on va apprendre les vêtements. Today, we're going to learn about clothing, les vêtements. The word vêtement is masculine, and we're going to learn about both masculine and feminine articles of clothing. Let's start with masculine articles of clothing. Un chapeau, a hat. Un chemisier is a blouse or a woman's shirt. Un t-shirt is a t-shirt. Un pull is a sweater. I've also seen it referred to as un pull au vert. Un pull or un pull au vert. So, un chapeau, un chemisier, un t-shirt, un pull, un pull au vert. Un jean is a pair of jeans. Un pantalon is a pair of pants. And un short is a pair of shorts. So notice that we in English refer to these um, bottom half clothing items as plural. Jeans, pants, shorts. In French, it's singular because it's really just one article of clothing. Un jean, un pantalon, un short. And un sous-vêtement is, if you know these two words, vêtement is clothes. And sous means under, so these are underclothes, your undies. Um, there are different, more specific names for different types of underwear. Let's keep it simple with un sous-vêtement. Un costume is a suit. Um, I should have included in here the word for costume, like a Halloween costume, is un déguisement. Un déguisement, like a disguise. Un maillot is a jersey. Un maillot. A maillot de bain, if you know the word bain, it means bath. This is a bathing suit, a swimsuit. Un blouson, a jacket. Let's pause and say these so far. Un chapeau, un chemisier, un t-shirt, un pull, un jean, un pantalon, un short, un sous-vêtement, un costume, un maillot, un maillot de bain, un blouson. Un blouson is like a light jacket. Un manteau is heavier, it's a coat. Un manteau. And then even more heavy duty than that is an anorak. An anorak is like a ski jacket, a parka, um, something heavier, maybe with a big hood. Um, that's an anorak. Répétez, un blouson, un manteau. An anorak. And then two masculine accessories. Un sac à main. Un sac à main, a bag for your hand, aka a purse or a handbag. And un gant is a glove. Un gant, um, usually that's plural, des gants for your two hands. So I'm going to say these one last time a little bit more slowly. I would love if you repeated them after me. Um, just to practice saying them yourself. And notice that these all have a in front for a hat, a blouse, a t-shirt. You could also use the word le, the definite article le, which means the. So le chapeau, le chemisier, le t-shirt to say the. Okay, one last time. Un chapeau, un chemisier, un t-shirt, un pull. Un jean, un pantalon, un short, un sous-vêtement, un costume, un maillot, un maillot de bain, un blouson, un manteau, un anorak, un sac à main, un gant. If you can hear that, that's my cat. Here are some feminine um, articles of clothing. Une casquette. Une casquette is a certain type of chapeau. It's a baseball cap. Une casquette. Une chemise. Now, this is confusing. Un chemisier was a woman's blouse. Une chemise is a man's button-down shirt. So these are les chemises. That's a little bit confusing. Um, you can describe sleeve length uh, for any kind of shirt, t-shirt, blouson, um, chemise, chemisier. By saying à manche courte, you're saying with short sleeves. À manche courte, with sleeves short.
Or you could say, à manche longue, um, long sleeve shirt. Notice that the word manche, sleeve, is feminine. So court and long are feminine too. So we have une chemise à manche courte and une chemise à manche longue. Une jupe is a skirt. Une robe is a dress. Une cravate is a tie. Une écharpe is a scarf. Une casquette. Une chemise. Une chemise à manche courte. Une chemise à manche longue. Une jupe. Une robe. Une cravate. Une écharpe. Une ceinture is a belt, une ceinture. Des baskets are sneakers or tennis shoes or basketball shoes. Des baskets. Une chaussette is a sock. Um, usually this word should be plural, des chaussettes, but um, the vista set of vocab words that I'm using right now had it singular. Une chaussette, des chaussettes are socks. Une chaussure, des chaussures are shoes. Des lunettes are glasses. Des lunettes. Des lunettes de soleil are glasses for the sun. Des lunettes de soleil. And then I have a few extra vocab words, but let me go back to these feminine words. Une casquette. Une chemise. À manche courte. À manche longue, une jupe, une robe, une cravate, une écharpe, une ceinture, des baskets, une chaussette, une chaussure, des lunettes, des lunettes de soleil. Some extra vocab from our list. Un vendeur is a salesman. Mon père est vendeur, par exemple. I'll have examples at the bottom. Un tailleur is the word for a tailor, but it's also the word for a women's suit. So un costume for a man, un tailleur for a woman. La femme d'affaires porte un tailleur gris. Des vêtements are clothes in general. Des vêtements, they're masculine. Elle porte des vêtements chic. Des soldes are sales. Um, sales are a little bit different in France. There is a five-week period in January and another one in June um, where things are heavily marked down. Sometimes stores sell things at a loss um, in order to clear out their inventory. So if you want to buy things for a really low price, wait till they sold in January and in June. And the, the sales just increase with each week in that five-week period. Une vendeuse is a saleswoman. Une vendeuse. Une taille is the word for size. So here's an example with both of those words. Quelle taille faites-vous? Demande la vendeuse. What size are you? Asks the saleswoman. And then last but not least, um, some extra verbs and adjectives. Aller avec means to go with, like it looks good together. Est-ce que ces chaussures vont avec cette robe? Do these shoes go with this dress? You'll conjugate the verb aller, so I'll say do they go? Elles vont. Porter is a regular ER verb, which means to wear. Porter. Mettre is another verb that's used frequently with clothing. It means to put on. Mettre is a regular, just to remind you, je mets, tu mets, il mets. Nous mettons, vous mettez, elle met. Tu portes des baskets, moi je vais mettre des sandales. You're wearing sneakers, me, I'm going to put on sandals. Bon marché is an adjective which means um, it's good market, aka it's cheap. Cher is the opposite, expensive. One thing to point out, cette chemise est bon marché. Notice that I do not make bon marché agree with anything. I don't add extra E's or S's to this compound word. Cher does have a masculine, feminine, and plural forms. 
Chaque means each. This adjective goes in front of the word it describes. J'aime chaque jupe que tu portes. I like each dress skirt, each skirt that you wear. Large means loose, big, baggy, and serré means tight. So, ce pull noir est trop large, mais le pull bleu est trop serré. Hopefully these words help you a little bit with learning about clothing vocab. There are tons and tons of words out there for clothes. So if you wanted to describe necklace, feel free to look that word up um, and use what you already know about clothing to employ those new vocab words. Au revoir.